Hello, welcome to 12-Minute Meditation. This is a weekly podcast from Mindful and Mindful.org, where you'll find mindfulness meditations backed by neuroscience. If you have your own meditation practice, you've probably noticed that you feel different after you practice. You may find benefits like increased attention and focus, more creativity, a deeper feeling of calm and resilience, and even an expansion of compassion. The latest scientific research supports what you've already intuited and indicates that about 12 minutes of meditation practice is kind of the the lowest ideal dose. So on this podcast, we invite you to do a 12-minute practice following guided meditations from some of today's leading mindfulness experts. We bring you a new practice regularly, so a new way to experience some of those benefits in your life. I'm Stephanie Domet. I'm a contributing editor at Mindful and Mindful.org. And this week, Michelle Maldonado has a practice to help turn awareness into action. I don't know about you, but I find it very easy to feel overwhelmed and confused about the best way to engage with the world from a place of strength, groundedness, and calm. And so this awareness practice is designed to foster three key insights, clarity of intention, understanding of our power, presence, and impact, and opportunities for wise action-taking. We don't have to know all the answers. We're simply inviting in reflection and introspection to allow insights and awareness of body and mind to arise. And whatever arises here, see if you can meet it with self-compassion and curiosity. We included this practice in the February 2023 issue of Mindful as part of an at-home meditation retreat. It's a mini retreat that we curated for relief and restoration when burnout threatens, and it's designed for you to take your individual practice into your relationships and your community. And you can find the new issue of Mindful on newsstands now or at mindful.org. And know that when we build mindfulness skills like compassion, self-care, and thoughtful communication through our personal practice, we're also creating a collective momentum and making waves of change that can ripple out through our workplaces and our other communities. If you want to learn more about how mindfulness can relieve stress and burnout and how you can help create a mindful culture in your workplace, drop by work.mindful.org. And now, just before we sit, one more request. Would you please review this podcast? Your review can help other listeners decide whether 12-minute meditation is right for them. For now, for you. Here's Michelle Maldonado. Welcome, everyone. I'm glad you're here. My name is Michelle Maldonado. If we take a moment to consider how complex, volatile, and uncertain current societal conditions are, as well as the spectrum of emotions we are feeling individually and collectively, it's easy to feel a sense of overwhelm and confusion about how to engage with the world from a place of strength, groundedness, and calm. In this practice, we will move through the four stages of human bridge building borrowed from the Bridge to Better model, by exploring how we show up in each of the four transformational quadrants of self, family, community, and organization. The breath we focus on is the normal flow of the in and out breath, allowing it to rest in its natural rhythm and cadence as we meet what arises with profound self-compassion and curiosity. Let's get started. To begin, find a comfortable position, sitting quietly as you set an intention for yourself to be open and curious about what comes up, receiving what arises with equanimity. You may sit or stand comfortably just allowing whichever position you choose to let you feel both alert and relaxed. Feel free to close your eyes or cast them in a softened downward gaze. And let's take three deep breaths in and out, allowing your mind to settle, your body to settle, and your breath 
to settle into its natural rhythm. In and out. As we explore the four journey quadrants of how we can build bridges with others to serve as agents of transformation. First, let us bring our attention to our heart space by gently placing a hand over the heart allowing it to simply rest there. Placing a hand over the heart can often bring a sense of comfort when we explore difficult thoughts, emotions, or experiences. Next, see what you notice. Perhaps it's the weight of your palm against your chest or a temperature difference underneath the space of your palm or maybe even the sensation of each heartbeat as you expand your awareness. Taking it all in with a gentle inhale and exhale. And over the next few moments, I invite you to consider these three things. How did I show up in the world today? How did my privilege show up through me? And what actions can I take to help become more aware of my privilege and its impact on others? Whatever it is that is the privilege you enjoy or benefit from, pick one of those for this practice. We don't have to know all the answers. We are simply inviting in reflection and introspection to allow insights and awareness of body and mind to arise. And whatever arises, see if you can meet it with self-compassion and curiosity in these next few moments. Breathing in, breathing out, and remembering to meet yourself and your thoughts with self-compassion. Taking three deep breaths in and out. Let's now bring our attention back to our breath, allowing the mind and body to let go of the thoughts just reflected on for brief self-inquiry. And let us next consider the quadrant of family. For many, family is where we learned our values, roles, and the lens through which we view life and others. With kindness and curiosity, I invite you to consider what key values you learned from your family and how they might impact your view of people who are not like you. If you like, you may continue to place your hand over your heart or return it to your heart if removed to support you in reflection on ways your family experience has informed how you perceive the world. Breathing in, breathing out. Also noticing any sensations in your body as you reflect on this. Where are they? What do they feel like? If at any time this reflection becomes too difficult, 
or really difficult emotions arise, please feel free to open your eyes or, if needed, to pause or stop to honor self-care needs. Now bringing your attention back to the sensation of your breath, perhaps noticing the sound of your breath or the sensation of the whole body breathing as you let go of thoughts and reflections of family. If any difficult emotions remain, you may want to curl, squeeze, and then uncurl and stretch your fingers and hands allowing tension to release with each stretch. Let us now turn our attention to community, coming to awareness of privilege and the role of family in our perceptions of the world. We can now begin to see how we may be navigating the world and the quality of our presence in it, beginning with our communities. Let us consider how we move through our communities as we Reflect on these questions. With whom do I tend to interact in my community? And with whom do I not interact? Why? And to go deeper. Why? For these next few moments, consider how you might show up differently in your community as you ponder these questions and allow our attention to settle here for the next few moments. Taking a deep breath in and out and bringing our attention back to our breath as we let go of thoughts around community. In these last few moments, let us now turn our attention to the organizations in which or with whom we work. At this point, we may have gleaned some insights about our privilege and the nature and impact of our presence and our families have shaped how we interact with and perceive the world and people around us. Bringing this forward, let's consider how these factors influence how we show up at work or with clients. See if you can notice where your lens of perception may need broadening or clarity. Is there a specific person or group of people that you hold with judgment and certainty? If so, bring them to mind and see if you can offer loving kindness to help you shift from judgment and certainty to discernment, kindness, and curiosity. As you reflect on this, what do you notice? What do you feel in your body? What stories or mental narratives arise when you think of this person or people? And finally, what can you do differently to model and create 
brave and safe space for all to flourish. And let us rest here for the next moment in contemplation. If you are noticing in this practice some thoughts or memories or feelings that make you feel uncomfortable, be kind and gentle with yourself. Moving from change agent to transformation agent isn't easy, but it's worth it. Let us close with three deep breaths in and out together, letting go of thoughts and bringing your attention back to the sensation of your breath. As you close this meditation, I invite you to journal on what came up for you and what action steps you may wish to take. Thank you for your practice, and may we all be well and flourish. Thank you for your practice today with 12-Minute Meditation from Mindful and Mindful.org. I hope you enjoyed practicing with us. We'll be back in seven days with another meditation for you.